Welcome back everybody. Um, I've got the tripod off in my hand now. I'm going to pick the spotlight up here. The same handle, but uh, hopefully you can see that. Um, yeah, there we go. A um, little bit light on the extrusion. I need to uh, check the multiplier. Um, but uh, yeah, I was just going to run a dry run and accidentally didn't click the dry run. Um, I had to take the the uh, hot end apart a couple more times. Holy smokes. Um, thanks to a YouTube user Accelerate who went through all this with one of these heads and now makes his own um, throats uh, or heat breaks told me that uh, he's had to polish the inside of his heat breaks and I took this one out and I couldn't see anything right away, which is what he kind of told me would happen. So then I <laughs> put a bright LED underneath it and looked really close with a, an old lens. And um, sure enough, I could see what I thought was a ridge. So I took um, a small drill bit that had a sharp edge on the back and slid it up and I could feel a ridge inside it. So I tried taking a smaller drill bit and just running it inside there really fast to see if it would bring anything out. It was was actually getting stuff out so I took my um, I've got a bead file which is for uh, widening glass beads and whatnot and stone and it's got a very shallow taper so I tried putting that in there and I uh, got it pretty smooth it wasn't quite smooth enough because it was still jamming and I don't have the piece handy here or I'd show you um, so I took it off cleared that jam the jam actually popped out so it told me I was getting close so I put the bead um, reamer back in. Uh, that's probably a better term for it because of the taper. It's a bead reamer. So I put the bead reamer back in and uh, it um, seemed to have worked okay. Uh, I don't know why. You know, let me turn the autofocus back on. Is it going to focus on that? Yep. Um, so yeah, then I uh, decided I was going to uh, follow the advice of a bunch of other people was to fully season the head and it took a fair amount of uh, cheap canola oil to just try it and I kept dipping the tip of uh, different PLA in as I was putting it in and then when I got it working I uh, reconnected the Bowden tube uh, with some fresh oil on that too down inside and I noticed there was absolutely no stick the other big thing I took this fan off of the FET that fan on the side will now spin if this is powered up, just like this fan. This FET is now um, is not doing anything. The LED might be lit, just saying that that would be on, but essentially um, the E3D guys on their site and their help says these fans should just be running full power. You shouldn't have them switching on and off to make sure that you get enough cooling. And considering how there was like a heat soak coming up into that heat, heat break, that made a lot of sense to me. And so the combination of that, I was actually able to get the first print. Um, yeah, that is the first functional print. I don't know if it's going to focus now. Um, off of this beast. And I actually managed to get most of it on video because I didn't believe it was printing until I saw it get to another layer. So um, I'm just going to uh, cut this early and uh, <laughs> and uh, upload this in a couple minutes. But uh, yeah, so it's printed now. And uh, I'll surely uh, try some more. It'd be nice to be able to do a calibration cube in a minute. And then maybe a benchy. And by a minute, I mean probably a day or two. <laughs> Anyhow, as usual, if you have any questions or comments, please don't hesitate to put them below. And for all of you that uh, have helped me directly through YouTube or through your own channels, comments there. A um, whole bunch of people. Um, really good. Lots of help. Uh, got this Franken printer running. Um, pretty awesome. Uh, yeah, there is a bit of warping. It lifted on that. That's just green painter's tape. I really should have had some uh, freshly cleaned capped on, but I really wasn't expecting it to print. And on top of that, the nozzle wasn't even at the right height. It wasn't fully leveled to the bed and whatnot. It just printed anyhow. But uh, anyways, I'm going to sign off now. So as always, uh, don't forget to like if you liked, and uh, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.
Thank you.